Hey guys, it's Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks, and I have my last review of these Transformers Generations 30th Anniversary figures. And uh, this is Bumblebee, and I know I've, I've been really gushing over these guys because I, I genuinely do like them. They're, they're pretty nice. I love that they use IDW designs in these. But yeah, this is Bumblebee, and Bumblebee is very, very cool. I love this car mode. Anyway, moving on, here's a look at the packaging. Yeah, that's comic book included. You've already seen him there. You get a nice look at Bumblebee on the on the side there. And look at his bio, look at the figure, and his tech specs. And there's nothing on the other side, so we'll just skip all that altogether. Now also, like I just said, he does come with a comic book, and you got these IDW comics here. And all of these are great stories. You got a little bit of that Nick Rush. Or Nick Rocher. Oh no, this is David Daza. I may have gotten that wrong, but anyway, on a couple other reviews. But a uh, pretty nice, good Bumblebee story. So, nice little addition to these figures. Anyway, sorry if I sound kind of tired. I've been doing all these. It's kind of late now. But yeah, Bumblebee is a yellow muscle car that looks really, really great little bit of the movie design in there but I love how this thing has like curves on it and actually if you look at this how the the bonnet here is these actually uh, it's laying underneath this middle part here and I like that got some designs on the front here he's got uh, pegged in wheels up front and plastic peg ends on the back uh, mainly because that's part of the arm transformation so they probably wanted that more secure uh, a little bit of kibble underneath, you can see his hands. Not too bad. You got even some designs on the back here. And of course the blue window with the translucent windows. I kind of hate when they do that, but anyway. Uh, the yellows don't kind of match up a little bit. Uh, you can't really see that because of the lights that he's under. But this is a little bit brighter than the rest of it. But it's okay because this is an awesome car mode. Just a good old-fashioned muscle car like I said there he is with Jazz and he scales actually pretty well with Jazz he's actually a bit bigger in scale to some of the other figures like I'll bring one of them in for the comparison later also for his accessories you do get these uh, half blaster things I'm not sure what these are supposed to be but you got kind of this energy and what's really cool but they are really cool because underneath they kind of look like uh, digital like some kind of digital uh, energy or whatever. And uh, you can peg them together to make a singular blaster. Or you can keep them separate. And so, yeah, it kind of looks like that. It's a cannon from hell, I guess. Anyway. And he does have these ports on the back, and you can peg these into the side so he has uh, a weapon deployed when he's in his alt mode. So, yeah. Got that, and it's a really shiny figure, and my lights are really just gleaming off of it. We'll just go ahead and take those to the side. So yeah, I like the car mode, and I actually like this figure. He ranks pretty high. I know people are like, oh, another Bumblebee. I actually like this Bumblebee. So anyway, let's go ahead and start the transformation on this guy. You want to take this and kind of unpeg it, because it's pegged in back here, and it's kind of a pain to get these out. You want to take them and just bring them out a little bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. And from here you can take his uh, back section and just fold it down. I love how they have like the lights on the back here. They're not the same tail lights. I don't know if they're supposed to be or not. You take them and extend them all the way down. And then his feet are actually pegged into the back windshield. You kind of unpeg them and bring them down and bring that forward. So there you go. You can see that plastic peg in on the wheels there. Then bring that down and you pretty much have his legs from that point. Go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Next you want to take these and unpeg them from the front. And these are actually going to become his shoulders. 
and you just want to take them and bring them down and there's actually a peg that goes into his forearm which is a really off color yellow uh, it's like bl this whole arm is black and they paint it this yellow and it's not the same color it's a little sloppy looking well you just want to bring that out bring it up and now you want to take this hood and roof area and collapse it together and bring it down it just sits there it doesn't peg anything take these and kind of bring them in however you please because they're on a nice little double hinge and then push this down and then push this down there you go I think it went down too far and there you have Bumblebee in his robot mode I think it's a little too bright for this guy just because he's so light there we go that looks a little bit better so there you have Bumblebee in his car mode I'm sorry in his robot mode and he does have this back kibble which kind of bothers me um, especially since it's hanging down between his legs like that and uh, if you don't like that you can always bring this up no you can't because that's where the hinge is it's stuck there but uh, yeah great face sculpt on Bumblebee love that kind of big grin I wish his head was on a ball joint but damn I love this figure I know we've gotten a bunch of Bumblebees but this guy is pretty awesome uh, for articulation he does have well his leg will go back like high in the ankle and it'll also go back here so he's actually got like a double hinge but nothing to the side well he does have a little bit to the side just because of the post up here it's very shallow but you can get a little bit out of there uh, you get a nice uh, past 90 degree knee joint twist at the hips and a ball joint uh, no waist articulation yes he does sorry he does pretty tight joint there too uh, you get tell me there was a swivel at this wrist there is not there is no swivel at that wrist that's all one piece hmm. uh, you do get an elbow and you got a ball joint here which because of the transformation you can probably get more out of this to get these uh, shoulder pads out of the way I like the shoulder pads though the only thing is I really wish he would peg in better because you heard him click but uh, you start messing with this guy, it will come undone on you. So yeah, I think it's a nice homage to kind of like the movie and of course the IDW design. I love the IDW design when he got his muscle car mode and stay down, fool. Anyway, you can take these and you can put them in each hand and you can't really pin them to the side unless... Uh, yeah, that would be nice if they could. But they don't. So like I said, you can take these and put them together. I like to put one back and one down. And put them together. There you go. So now he's got this strange blaster that appears to be blasting already. But it is a blaster from hell right there. Uh, let's go ahead and scale him in with uh, Warpath here. And he's just a little bit smaller than Warpath, not by much, but he's kind of wider, especially thanks to the shoulder pads. Uh, for another comparison, here's a deluxe smoke screen from Beast Hunters, just to get a look at what he looks like. Well, he does scale with very well. I like how he scales with Voyager Optimus. So yeah, it's an awesome figure. I like this guy. I probably like him the most out of everybody, and I've been waiting a long time to get a trailblazer or trail cutter, whatever. So this guy's okay. He, he's a nice transformation. He's a great bumblebee design, and uh, I don't know if he'll be replacing my classics on the shelf, but he might, just because he's that nice. Really like the design of this guy. I mean, ugh. Excuse me, except for the uh, back kibble here that hangs down between his legs. Right there. Right there. Look at it. I'm sorry. Anyway, this has been the Transformers 30th Anniversary Generations Bumblebee Review. Uh, if you see this guy and you like Bumblebee, go ahead and pick him up. He's, he's worth picking up. He really is. Until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X for SCNUS Live and CineLeaks.com, and I'll catch you later.